You know, this it usually starts like the night before. We'll be uh, talking about going out and finding something cool or something old, and and we usually do. This is what we do like every night or every weekend, I should say. I, I go out every night. She loves going out with me. It's always fun having somebody that's with you all the time, constantly doing the same thing. Literally how we ended up here was uh, the Jeep overheated. It was down this dirt road. I was trying to get to the mountain and um, this guy came along and he told us, hey, well, I told him that I like finding old places and he's like, well, I got a place that's right here within walking distance and I'll show you right now. And I was like, yeah, let's go. And he took us here and then we ended up finding this amazing like old adobe house that had a tin roof and awesome view of the mountains. Inside this place, it was really cool. Like, I mean, the walls are kind of like worn down, like there's the dirt on the floor. I mean, almost like all the typical old houses here in New Mexico. It seemed like it was a very simple family that did live here. I wish I knew the exact year of when it was occupied. But that's just one of the interesting things about going around exploring these places. I started off like wanting to take and do photography, um, and now it's coming to this word. Like I'm constantly always finding these old places. One of the things that I always look out for is like um, like the windows and the nails. You could tell a lot by the nails. And the windows are usually not intact in a lot of these places, even the ones that are like off in the distance, where you would think that. Not too many people can get a hold of it. They somehow still do. You know what I like to carry is uh, what was like having this little thing, Lansky. It's a pretty damn good sharpener. Get your little honing rod right there. And this is just about done. I couldn't find that better, there's only two bucks. Mmm, holy shit. That's it. Baby. Here. How was it, babe? Delicious. It's a plain old chicken burrito out here. This is a lovely ass place. And it would have been funny if we would have set this up inside the house, but I, said. I don't want to do that in case something were to happen and burn the place down. So it would have been funny though. But finally got some food in me. Got my whiskey. Got beautiful mountains, which I don't mind having that view every morning.
part that always sucks is the going home part. Like, uh, you get back in the city, you're just like, ah, uh, back home. You just see like the craziness going on. You turn on the news, and it's, uh, again, the same old, same old stuff that happens when you're back in the city. And a lot of, a, lot, a big part of me wishes I was right back there in the country again. It's calm. It's peaceful. It's Everybody should try it at least once if you're not already living out there.